Well, he brought us Touching the Void, The Last King of Scotland and State of Play, but director Kevin MacDonald's latest film really pushes the boundaries of documentary making. Filmed on just one day last summer, Life in a Day dips into the personal stories of thousands of amateur filmmakers around the world who uploaded their footage to YouTube. I've been speaking to Kevin MacDonald about the film and what it could tell us about the future of what they're calling citizen filmmaking. <laughs> We didn't really train anybody, we were reliant on amateurs and people who were doing this for love and we just put out a call around the world um, using YouTube and using kind of traditional media means of doing lots of interviews and things and uh, we got these 81,000 clips in. We also did actually send out 400 cameras to the developing world so that the film could be a bit more representative of parts of the globe where they don't have internet and don't have cameras in everyday life. Were there themes that you were kind of setting out to try and cover? Was there any sense of wanting to be political in the making of it? No, I, I very much wanted just to sort of let the material speak to me. I thought that was, you know, um, more honest in a way to the material. I, I didn't know what I was going to get. We, we ended up with this four and a half thousand hours worth of material from 192 countries. But as soon as you started watching it, political points did start to come through, obviously. And foremost amongst them, uh, inequality. Uh, in different places in the world. I'm afraid of losing this place. I fear. Any kind of monster. Dogs. Growing up. Politics scares me more than anything. One of our questions that we asked people to, to, to answer was, what do you have in your pockets? And of course, if you ask someone in Haiti or in uh, somewhere in the Himalayas, what do you have in your pockets? They've got nothing and they probably have nothing. Uh, if you ask a man in Northern California, as we did, uh, he brings out a Lamborghini key. So, you know, you don't, you, you'd have to be pretty, pretty uh, insensitive not to see the political side of that. But one criticism that has been raised is the suggestion that because of the nature of the film with these clips, you don't have a chance to get into the, the story of the characters. And, and perhaps in that sense, it, it, it is a bit frustrating. I would actually argue against that to say that, that uh, uh, we actually get very, very intimate uh, insights into people's lives and uh, great intimate knowledge of characters very, very quickly in, in two, three minutes um, from being with them because people are filming themselves. I'm, I'm very thankful to uh, the beautiful staff for, the, for these people that have treated me like... Just treated me so well. When people don't have a filmmaker there, when they don't have a journalist asking them questions, they tend to be more honest and be themselves, obviously, in a way that, you know, as a documentary maker, you can only dream of normally. So I think there's, I think there's a, uh, an, an authenticity to it and an immediacy to it that is the reason why the film is very, very moving. And I think that the, 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 almost everybody I've shown the movie to has, has found it a, an extremely emotional experience. And it's because you do get to know these characters and they do open up in a, in a way that they wouldn't normally in a film. Do you think it's going to change anything about how you approach a regular feature film? Yeah, in some, in some subtle ways, it's, going to, it's definitely going to, going, to, going to affect the way I look at my other films. Because I think when you make a, 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 a drama film, you're always looking at how to make um, emotion authentic, how to make performance authentic. And, and in this, I've seen the subtleties of, of how people go to cope with very, very extreme emotion. Um, in real life, and there's all sorts of all sorts of things that I think I've learned in terms of working with actors, <laughs> from seeing these re people, real people, but also just on a on a technical level. Some of the cinematography in this is incredibly creative and inventive, and I, and I think that's one of the one of the one of the, the one of the real joys of, of watching this, this film in the cinema is that it does feel quite cinematic, and there's all sorts of ideas in there about where to place cameras, how to shoot things, which uh, you know I'll be stealing. We're back tomorrow at 6.30. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening.